Right, so like myself, the imp has probably had a little bit too much to drink today. Uh, as I say, to go for a lie down. What we'll do while it's having its rest is we will quickly go and have a look at another two sections that you really need to have a good look at here. Oh dear me. I think I've probably mentioned it once or twice already, the advice I give to the young people. Don't get old, it's bad for you. Now, there's always a little bit of crust up here at the back roof scene. Now this one can be really, really nasty. This one can really bite. That's because the headliner is actually pushed up against the metal. So any damp in the car sits there. But I can see paint and no holes at the back and just suffer thrust. So uh, we've a bit dodged the bullet on that one. That's for sure. And if you want to see how horrifying that can get, dear me. Oh. It can actually get genuinely quite nasty. If you look at the, again on helmanimp.org, if you look at the build thread for the green chamois, George, JDL, I had to actually repair sections of the roof up here on the skin to the back. The skin becomes very, very floppy when it's disconnected and it's a really, really nasty repair. You need to be very, very careful. Don't seem to be any rot here. However, this section is made up of three skins. And what I do have is some pinholes. And fortunately, due to these pinholes, which I could easily repair and leave, I'm going to have to take this seam to put to pieces and go and check the inner skin, which although it's crusty looks okay. It may just be, it's just these bits above the vents I need to repair, but I'll need to cut out this section from here to the same point on the other side, pop it off and get a good look.